Hey guys, it's Ray Alvarez from Shoot With Ray and we're back with another video. This one is going to be an editing video. So do you guys see those wedding pictures, especially the ones that I put out where the veil is flying and, and you know, it's really creative and you're like, how do you do that photo? How do you create that sort of picture? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's step right into it. All right, guys. So you're at the wedding, you have an assistant with you or you paid for one. And if you don't have one, you just ask one of the groomsmen, right? Uh, you make it kind of fun. You say, hey, guys, who's the one who can run the fastest? And the reason you say that is because, quite honestly, you're going to need someone who moves fast in order to do this. Um, and what, there's always going to be a groomsman who's, who's down to play around with you guys, who's down to have some fun. So you select that person. And if there's no groomsman available, uh, maybe a wedding guest who's really close to the bride and groom, trust me, you will always find somebody who's willing to help and assist. So you go ahead, you ask them for that favor. Hey, look, you want to get creative. We're going to do some portraits with the veil. Do you want to help out? And they're going to say yes. So once they do, uh, you're going to have to hold the veil. Um, now, every veil is different. Every veil is created different. If it's a specific, if it's a if it's a windy day, you're going to have issues with the veil flying, but you're going to figure it out. Once once that wind starts blowing and picking it up, you're going to see where it's going. And then you just work, you know, you work the opposite. You, you work with the wind or against it. Um, but yeah, once you're ready, you know, you hold up the veil, you have the assistant do it, give that person clear instructions as to how to do it, set your light up, set your pose up, set everything up before you get this done. Once you got the shot, it's in your camera. Let's fast forward to when you're editing. But now we're in Photoshop. We're going to be using Gen Fill. If you don't know what that is, look it up or I'm going to make another video on this. But Gen Fill, AI editing, a lot of people stay away from it, but you got to get with it, man. These things, these things save us time. This right here saves me so much time from editing. It's insane. So we're going to go ahead in Photoshop. We're going to go grab any sort of tool where you can make a selection. I'm using the polygonal lasso tool and I'm just going to work my way around the individual here, the assistant. Uh, this was actually one of my recent weddings that I had an associate cover. My partner Casey covered it. Um, but yeah, so he was here with uh, the second shooter. Actually, I'm wrong. This was not a second shooter. This was the videographer assigned to the wedding, um, but it wasn't my company. It was a third party videographer. But we're going to go ahead and just make a selection around that person, around the subject. In this case, there's a reflection. So I'm also selecting that part of the photo and I just want to remove it. So what we're going to do is get a little extra cut here. So I'm going to remove that. So what we're going to do is we're going to just type remove in the gen fill tool. And for the most part, usually it does a really good job and it removes and it removes what I ask it to remove. So we're going to do that here. And once it's done, it's going to load up. Boom. <laughs> wow. This <laughs> less than 10 seconds, guys, come on. You would have spent God knows what, like 30 minutes probably editing this out. You know, who has 30 minutes nowadays, right? You could have used that 30 minutes to go hang out, go, I don't know, do something. But that's incredible. Anyways, back to the edit. Um, look at that. I mean, it's pretty clean. There's no in the reflection. There's no sight of that person that there was even someone there. It did a pretty good job on the grassy area. It did a really good job, too. And just so you guys know, Gen Phil does give you options. So, I mean, if you really want to get picky here we can always select the one that looks the best but in this case just to get away with the whole thing and just to kind of show you guys what i'm talking about let's just go with the first option and that's it we're gonna flatten that layer and we're gonna save it and you can pretty much do whatever you would like to do to this to this photo um the sky's real in this photo i do a lot of sky replacement you guys know me for that um but the sky's real in this photo and it looks really nice so i'm just gonna leave it alone this is a very nice photo it's good uh, Casey did an amazing job. So really quick video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. Now, I don't know if you saw my unboxing of the Atom Cube 50, but that's exactly what I'm using right now to light me in this video. If you want to watch that video, just tap right here on the screen. You're going to see it right now. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment below. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.